Uh, hello class, uh, our fourth topic for the final uh, for the contract of sale. So let's start. Real mortgage. So mortgage. So yung pledge, uh, yung pledge loans as is hindi ko na din discuss yung class. Uh, pledge is just like uh, kwan lang kasi yon yung pledge. Uh, nangutang ka ngayon nag pledge ka na in case na hindi ako makapagbayad, ang ibabayad ko is yung lupa ko or di kaya yung property ko. So, yun yung pledge. Yung mortgage kasi is, uh, sa pledge kasi is, the, uh, you don't need to deliver the uh, pledge. Sa mortgage, uh, here, uh, we will tackle the mortgage. Real mortgage muna tayo. So, what is real mortgage? First, what is real mortgage? So, uh, from the word real, so ang involved dito is yung uh, real properties, lupa, building, or any other thing which is uh, in nature, permanent na siya. Requisites of real mortgage, that it be constituted to secure the fulfillment of the principal obligation. Two, that the mortgagor be the absolute owner of the thing mortgage. That the person constitute, constituting the mortgage must have the free disposal of his property and in the absence thereof that he be legally authorized for the purpose. Four, that the document in which the mortgage appear be recorded in the registry of property. This requirement is necessary to bind third person but not for the validity of, validity of the real mortgage which may be entered into any for So ito yung requisites ng real mortgage class. So magkakaroon lang ng real mortgage kung merong principal obligation. Magkakaroon ng real mortgage kung yung mortgagor is siya yung absolute owner ng thing. Next, kung yung mortgagor is meron siyang free disposal. Ibig sabihin walang komo kontra. Naintindihan? Meron siyang free or meron siyang karapatan na i-dispose yung property. And then fourth, dapat naka-record yun sa registry of property. Naintindihan? So, itong number four, required lang ito para merong binding sa third person. Important characteristics of real mortgage. Number one, it is an accessory contract. So, take note class ha, real mortgage is an accessory contract. So, yung principal contract dito is either contract of loan, uh, contract of loan. So, or mayroon utang. So, ginawa, uh, na, nagkaroon lang ng real mortgage para mayroong collateral. Two, indivisible. Ibig sabihin, hindi pwede siyang hatiin. Naintindihan? Let's say for example, may utang ka. 1 million. Kinulateral mo ngayon yung lupa. So, syempre, kung ano ang size ng lupa, yun yun dapat buong mong uh, ikulateral. Let's say, for example, kinulateral, ang nakalagay sa title, half hectare. So, buong half hectare, yun yung ikulateral mo. So, hindi, hindi mo pwedeng sabihin na one fourth lang yung ikulateral ko, hindi pwedeng ganon. So, hindi siya indivisible. It is an indivisible. 3. Inseparable. It, subject, it subjects the property upon which it is imposed. However, the possessor may be to the fulfillment of the obligation for whose security it was constituted. Ibig sabihin, class, inseparable. Hindi dapat maghiwalay yung principal contract sa accessory contract. Kung nasan yung principal contract, nandun din yung accessory contract. The creditor may claim from third person in possession of the mortgage property the payment of the part of the credit secured by the property which same third person possesses in the terms and with the formalities which the law establish. The third person's liability, however, is limited to the value of the property mortgage. The third person cannot be compelled to pay any deficiency after the mortgage is foreclosed unless he expressly assumed for the principal obligation. So, meron tayong example. D obtained a loan from C amounting to 100,000. To secure the debt, D 
constituted a mortgage on his lot which she registered with the registry of deeds. Before the due date of the loan, they sold the lot to X who knew nothing of the mortgage. So, dito class, hindi alam ni X na yung lupa na kanyang binili is taka mortgage. So, ano yung mayayari? If D later defaults in the payment of his loan, ipapaano e class kung nag-default or hindi nakapagbayad ng utang si D kay C? So, anong gagawin ni C? C can foreclose. So, po pwedeng i-foreclose ni C yung lupa. Naintindihan? Although, X was not a party there too. E, hindi ba class yung lupa is na kay X na kasi nga ibinenta? Naintindihan? So, po pwede pa rin i-foreclose ni C yung lupa. Kahit na si X is not involved in the contract of loan. So, even he was not aware of the existence. So, kahit hindi niya alam na may nag exist pala yung contract of loan ni DKC. At the time of the purchase of the lot. So, here, ang sinasabi dito, this is an, an exemption to the principle of relativity of contracts. Number four, real right. So, nagkikreate siya ng real right. So, di ba class? Uh, number three. Number four, uh, real mortgage nagkikreate ng real right. It creates a lien or uh, it creates a lien on the property mortgage whereby the mortgagee has a right to have the mortgage property sold to satisfy his claim. Ibig sabihin ng real right class class A, uh, you have the right against the whole world. Uh. Five, real property. It is a real right over immovable property. Kinds of real mortgage. Number one, conventional or voluntary mortgage. One which is created by agreement of the five parties. Number two, legal mortgage. One, executed pursuant to an express requirement of a provision by law. And then number three, equitable mortgage. So, di ba na-discuss na natin ito yung equitable mortgage. Uh, by the way, class, sa equitable mortgage, kung nabasa nyo yung kaso, uh, yung pinapabasa ko sa inyo, uh, in equitable mortgage, uh, kailangan ng foreclosure dito. Naintindihan? Kung kung nabasa nyo yung kaso, so nandun yung nakalagay. Para, uh, para si mortgagee uh, masatisfy yung kanyang claim so i-foreclose niya yung property hindi 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 dapat niya uh, kukunin kaagad yung property naintindihan? kasi nga yung property is naka-attach eh dun sa principal contract so ikaw na mortgagee or ikaw na may claim hindi mo pwedeng kunin kaagad yun so ang the best remedy para sa iyo is to foreclose the property and then ibenta mo at public auction and then ikaw na mortgagee you have the right to uh, uh, enter into the public auction or mayroon kang right para sumali sa auction object of real mortgage number one immovable so the following are immovable property land building roads and construction of all kinds adhere to the Soil. B. Trees, plants, and growing fruits while they are attached to the land or form an integral part of the immovable. And others. Take note class, itong others marami ito. So, basahin nyo na lang. Uh, and I encourage you to familiarize. So, kung kaya nyo, pwede nyo i-memorize. So, yung uh, example ng others natin dito is fertilizer actually use on a piece of land so yung abono so since inilagay mo na yun sa lupa so part na na siya ng immovable naintindihan next din uh, other uh, example ng real mortgage is uh, statue o statwa so, statwa is permanent na yun eh unless lang kung sisirain mo o di kaya uh, public works o yung mga daan uh, so kasali siya sa immovable Two, alienable rights in accordance with the law imposed on immovable forms of 
le a real mortgage. Number one, between the parties, the real mortgage may be in any form since it is a consensual contract. So, take note class, real mortgage is perfected by mere consent. The contract is binding between the parties even if not registered in the registry of property. So, take note class, ha? Uh, between the parties lamang ito. So, pupwedeng hindi na siya nakaregister sa registry of deeds. However, since real mortgage creates a real right, the same must be in public instrument for the convenience of the parties. So, for the convenience of the parties. So, para magkaroon ka na, di ba ang sinasabi ng statute of frauds, dapat it ma, kapag ang involved is real mortgage or real property, naka-public instrument. The person in whose favor the law establishes a mortgage have no other right than to demand the execution in the recording of the document in which the mortgage is formalized. So, kapag uh, ang sinasabi kasi ng batas class pagdating sa mortgage, uh, nagde-demand lang yung other party ng execution or uh, gawin mo kung ano nalag nakalagay sa kontrata. As regard to third person, the real mortgage must be recorded in the registry of property. However, the real mortgage is nevertheless binding against third person who have the knowledge of the of the same. So, para mabind ang third person class, dapat nakarecord siya sa registry of property. Or, kahit hindi siya nakarecord of property, as long as alam ni third person or meron siyang knowledge na naka, yung binibili niya property is naka-mortgage. So, kahit wala nang registration, binding pa rin yun. Extent of real mortgage. A contract of real mortgage shall cover the following. Number one, property mortgage. Two, natural accessions. Three, improvements. And four, growing fruits. And five, rents and income not yet received when the obligation becomes due. So, ito class, ito yung kasali sa real mortgage. Halimbawa, ah, uh, Kinolateral mo yung lupa mo. Since yung lupa mo is may nakatayong puno, so kasali yun sa nakamortgage yun. Naintindihan? O di kaya mayroong bahay doon. O di kaya uh, mayroong fence or may bakod. So kasali yun sa mortgage. Six, indemnity granted or owing to the proprietor from the insurers of the property mortgage or in virtue of expropriation for public use. So dito class, ang nangyari, what if yung Uh, naka-mortgage na lupa is kukuni ng gobyerno gagawing public use or gagawing daanan. So, syempre, uh, ang nangyari doon, eminent domain. Sa eminent domain, uh, kukuni ng, ng gobyerno yung property, pero babayaran ng gobyerno. So, saan mapupunta yung uh, money na yun? So, kasali yun sa real mortgage. Foreclosure of real mortgage. So, dito tayo sa foreclosure procedures. Number one, what is foreclosure? Foreclosure is the remedy available to the mortgagee by which he subjects the property mortgage to the satisfaction of the obligation secured. So, a foreclosure class is uh, available only on the part of the mortgagee. So, wala nang ibang uh, mag institute ng uh, foreclosure maliban kay mortgagee. Grounds for foreclosure. Bakit ka mag-foreclose? When the principal obligation is not paid when due. Take note class ha. Dapat yung obligation is nag-due. Ha? Kasi kapag hindi yan nag-due, walang foreclosure na mangyayari. B. When there is any violation of any condition, stipulation, or warranty by the mortgagor. Or si mortgagor, sa madaling salita, hindi tumapad sa usapan. Kinds of foreclosure, judicial foreclosure. This is foreclosure made through the filing of peti a petition in the court. Number one, if the defendant fails to pay the amount due within the time directed by the court, the property shall be sold. So, here class, di ba kinasuhan mo na? Finor close mo. So, by way of judicial foreclosure. Ngayon, uh, nanalo ka. Pagkapanalo mo, sasabihin ng korte kay defendant, defendant, magbayad ka. E paano kapag si defendant hindi nagbayad? So, yung property is ibebenta at public option. Yung pinagbentahan, ibabayad dun sa utang. Naintindihan?
so here your photo show it 